Legends, welcome back. This week we're in Senate Health Facility here in Girona, and I'm going to run you through one of my typical strength routines as part of my weekly training. Today we're going to focus on single leg uh, stability and functional core. And so come with me as we get stuck into a little bit of weights, a little bit of gym here at Senate. So today's session is going to be about an hour in length. There's going to be 15 different exercises focused on 15 different muscle groups and essentially eight to ten reps per exercise some of the exercises super setted so it's a nice quick session you come in you'll come out you'll leave a broken man or woman just like i do and you'll get strength on the bike so let's go jump into it exercise one on the fit ball this is basically just warming up those hips bending from side to side opening up the lower back Exercise number two, still on that fit ball, we're basically going to just rotate from side to side. I want you to imagine you've got a full hoop around your hips and you're basically trying to spin it as fast as you can. 10 one direction, 10 the other direction. Third exercise, again for the hips, bit of mobility here. Basically just rolling your hips back and forth and concentrating on that feeling on the hips. Just making sure that you're making different contact on the ground as you work through that range of motion. Exercise number four, this is a little bit trickier. So we're basically gonna put the leg back behind us and we're gonna push it out from left to right. And again, we're just trying to open up that hip socket and get some movement through those hips. Now there's the mobility out of the way. The fifth exercise, we're going to start working on the glutes. So in this position here, I basically want you to think about driving up from the glutes. So drive that foot up towards the ceiling and drop it back down. And keeping in mind that as you do this, you want to keep those hips nice and square. Next exercise, number six, with a band, I guess. We're gonna put the band around one foot and we're basically gonna drive that leg back while at the same time pushing our hands up in front of us. So this is gonna challenge you as far as your balance goes, but the key here is to stabilize on the leg that is flat on the ground and make sure you utilize that core. Exercise number seven, this one's a little easier. We touched on this in the activation video previous to this. Uh, basically, you're going to put the band around your ankles and you're going to walk from left to right, 10 steps in each direction. This will get the glutes burning, I guarantee you. Exercise number eight, this is one you guys will all love. On the leg press, single-legged leg press this time. So I've got 60 kilos on the machine and basically I'm going to drive with each leg, 10 repetitions. The focus here is on keeping the hips nice and square and making sure that you're not rolling around. From here, we're going to jump onto a block and this is exercise number nine for those of you who are keeping count. We're going to do two basically lunges on each leg. So one leg on the block, one leg on the floor, you're going to lunge down and basically drive up with that leg on the floor. Work on that stability, this is key here. This is a machine you guys are all familiar with. Exercise number 10, the hamstring curl, single-legged though. So my left hamstring is a little weaker than my right, so I'll always start on the left-hand side. 10 repeats on the left and 10 repeats on the right. One tip here is to make sure you're pointing those toes. I don't want you to activate the calf muscle. We want to make sure it's all going through the hamstrings. Now, onto a fit ball for exercise number 11, single-legged, I guess you could call this a lunge. Basically, we're concentrating on balance here. Balance is key as part of this whole routine, actually. So one leg behind up on the fit ball, and basically you're driving with the glute forward, and you're making sure to keep those hips square. Now, exercise number 12 is a bit of a doozy, and this is one that is quite difficult to perform, especially at the end of a long session. On one leg, I want you to put your other leg out in front of you. 
You're basically going to go into a pistol squat here and then drive up and jump as high as you can with that one leg. It's incredibly hard. I struggle with this exercise a lot, but I find it's a, it's a great one for getting that burn through the glutes. So we're on to the last two exercises here. Basically, I'm going to do another hamstring exercise. This one, fit ball out in front of you. You're going to put both feet on the fit ball and you're going to drive your glutes up, stabilizing through the core. You're going to use the hamstrings to bring the fit ball back towards you and then push it out again. This one will hurt you tomorrow. You won't be walking downstairs like a normal person. I can pretty much guarantee it. So onto the final exercise now. It's actually 14 exercises and not 15. We're gonna do uh, one final ab exercise. This is probably one that you've seen before. One leg behind you, one arm out in front, and basically you're reaching as far forward and as far back as you can with your arm and foot, if that's what you wanna call it. And we're basically, again, stabilizing through the hips, stabilizing through the core, and mimicking being on the bike, either out of the saddle or driving up a long climb. So there you go, guys. There's 14 exercises that will pretty much burn you out, just like it's burnt me out today. My legs are toast, my body is tired, but I feel pretty good at the end of that. I'm gonna go home now for a protein shake. But if you've got any questions, pop them down below. Again, this is a functional strength session. This is not a max strength session. This is all about using muscles and using them properly. So I hope that you guys have been able to take something from that. I hope you've been able to learn something and I hope that you can apply it to your own riding so that when you get on the bike, you actually feel stronger. And I guess there's one exercise that we didn't mention. You know, I get a lot of questions about my biceps. How do I keep my biceps the size that they are given I spend so much time on the bike? The secret lies within the two kilogram kettlebells. So at the end of every session, I'll basically pick them up and I'll do three or 4,000 repetitions just with the little kettlebells. And this just really gets that bicep burn going and it just keeps the body in good shape in preparation for the music season that's slowly coming upon us. You guys know Stereosonic is a big music festival and I love to go to Stereosonic and get the big guns out. So there you go, guys. There are my hot tips for a functional exercise session in the gym. Go get into your local gym and get stuck into it. Bush.